So, hey guys, pa pa Michi. Ooh, may na clickbait. <laughs> nee, joke lang. Hey guys, Patch here, back with another video. Now this time around, gagawa tayo ng 15k build. Ayun de. Um, more like gagawa tayo ng build guide towards the 15k build. Uh, di wala pa ako ng money, fortunately. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're Pero gagawa tayo ng 15k build which you can actually make. I'll be listing the parts down below as well as yung links ng parts na mga ginamit ko while isip ko tayo na dito na konti. I'll be putting it here. Yung mga parts. I shall display it for you. <laughs> then, uh, wow. So, let's get this moving. Actually, yung build na to is not really 15k build. Naglagay ako ng allowance, so like under 13k something yung magiging build na to. Para may allowance kayo for aesthetics. Now, yung best as... <laughs> Huh. Ganyan, pagsabog. Uh. Nare-review ka dapat para sa quiz sa Monday, di ba? <laughs> yung ginawa kong coat, De, hindi coat uh, more like build guide na to, is just around 13k something. Hindi siya actually lumabod ng 15k kasi I want you to be the one na pumili ng case nyo. So, yung magiging build na to is roughly around 13.5 to 13.3 at uh, 13.3 to 13.5k lang. All new parts and yung para sa case, kayo na bahala pumili. Naglagay ako ng allowance ng budget sa 15k na yan. Uh, pero yung ma-prefer ko is the Rock Siri, the Rock Anyag Frost, ah, hindi, hindi yung Frost. Yung Rock Anyag lang na black. Or anything under that price range. So, move excited. Tara na sa PC build. Sige tayo dito na content. Yan. So, first and foremost, para sa CPU natin, we will be going with the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now, uh, magtat matatapos na in 2019 and I think it's better na mag 3200G pero ang nakita ko is konti lang yung naging performance difference ng performance performance difference ng 2200G sa 3200G. Uh, may ililink down ako for the benchmarks na pwede nyo panorin ng actual gameplay ng 3200G as well as the 2200G. And sa marketplace naman kasi ngayon, nakikita natin na around 1K difference pa ang inaabot ng 3200 sa 2200. Now, pwede naman tayo mag 2200G as well as we can also go with the 3200G Pero may konting dagdag tayo sa magiging build natin. Pero we're trying to make it at ma as much as possible na under 15k. Now, para naman sa magiging RAM stick natin, we're going to be going with the HyperX Fury 8GB single stick na 3200MHz. Now, you could be thinking na pwede naman ako mag-go cheaper sa 2400MHz. Bakit di na lang ganun? Makakatipid pa ako. Here's the thing. Yung 2200G natin will be an integrated GPU and we will be relying on APUs. So maybe you're wondering, bakit kailangan pa mag 3200MHz na RAM stick kung pwede naman tayo mag 2400? Makakatipid pa tayo doon dahil cheaper yun. Here's the catch pagdating sa mga APUs. They are actually RAM frequency dependent. Uh, I'll be leaving a link down below para kung gusto nyong basahin yung about it, it will give you further info kung bakit sila ganun. Pero, yung magiging performance ng APU natin, good. Michi? Oy, kalma lang. Yung magiging performance kasi ng APU natin will greatly depend sa frequency ng RAM natin. The higher the frequency, the better performance na makukuha mo, lalo na sa games. Now, as I said, my, I'll be putting down a link below para kung gusto nyo pa mag-read about it before buying a 
makikita nyo yung magiging impact. So, moving on para sa motherboard natin. Now, para sa motherboard, I actually wanted this to be at least kahit pa no future-proof. If you're looking to upgrade your specs as well as increasing your RAM, pwede nating gamitin or rather pwede mong gamitin yung board na to to upgrade your setup. Now, para sa motherboard natin, we will be using the MSI A320M Pro Series. Now, since magagamit lang natin is one slot for now, you still have room for upgrading. As well as kung gusto nyo na maglagay ng GPU in the future, kaya naman yun. So, yung mindset ko kasi nito is yung 15K build na PC. Yung 15K build na PC is actually more of an entry gaming build. Na iniisip nyo is, gusto kong makagawa muna ng 15K build na PC for now with room for upgrades in the near future. Now, pinili ko yung motherboard na to and since pip, gagamit lang tayo ng isang slot for now, since gagamit lang tayo ng isang slot for now, you still have room for upgrades sa RAM. And one more thing to remember, kung mag upgrade kayo ng RAM, Eh, gusto mo umakyan. So, in the future naman, since this is our starting build PC na 15K, uh, I think the best thing to do is to increase RAM by at least 4 gig lang. You can actually get one, I think, na medyo... Michi! Nagbibideo ako! Huwag kang magkaskas dyan! <laughs> Sorry guys, ang dami naging cut to. Okay. So, the thing, the thing is, kung you're looking to upgrade naman na and adding a GPU, for example, uh, preferred to is you either put an RX 580 or 570, RX 570 for build na to. Now, para naman sa magiging future ng RAM slots mo, you can actually add kahit yung 4 gig lang na 3200 MHz din if you're actually planning to put a GPU in it. Kasi once naman na nakapaglagay ka na ng GPU, most likely naman talaga, eh hindi, hindi most likely. Gagamit na ng dedicated na graphics processing using your GPU. So now moving on naman, para sa magiging storage natin, I actually split the storage to two. Kasi as much as possible, gusto ko din maging fail-safe yung magiging PC build nyo. In case na magkaroon ng virus or may bad luck kayo na bigla na lang masira yung computer, at least yung OS side lang yung maapektuhan. Uh, yung ginawa ko is, I split it into two. So, we have first, the Team Elite GX1 na 120GB SSD version. SSD version? SSD drive na magiging parang storage para sa OS nyo as well as counting files. Then, para naman sa magiging main storage natin, we have the Team Elite as well. Pero, 240GB na muna na SSD for now since we're just like keeping it under 15K. Now, bakit mahalaga na gawin mo to? This is to ensure, uh, I don't think everyone will agree with me, pero this is, into, this is to ensure na hindi mangyayari na masisira or mawawala para sa inyo yung files nyo. Kasi once na na-corrupt yung OS, from personal experience kasi, once na nawatak yung OS mo, kawawa pati files mo. Lalo na kung hindi ka nang pag-backup or hindi ka masipag mag-backup ng files. Okay. Moving! Now, para naman sa making power supply natin, we will be going with the Corsair BS450 True Rated. One, reputable yung name ng brand, so no need to worry. As well as True Rated siya. Kaya hindi nyo na kailangan mag-alala. Uh, like the other day, nakakita ko sa group ng nasusunog na power supply. I'm sorry na nasunog yung power supply mo. Yeah. That's a bad vlog so sorry. So, lastly naman, every PC needs a proper cooling system. So, we're going with fans. Now, these fans are actually 120mm na fans. You can actually go, well, magiging depende naman talaga siya sa magiging size ng case or kung anong case yung mahanap nyo given those budget. They're actually just 99 pesos and uh, I'm using them sa isa kong computer build na ginawa para sa brother ko. And they're actually okay lang. Uh, it, uh, I'm looking to upgrade those fans 
pag nakapag-ipon ko na oh, para sa kuya ko, oh, hindi, ba't ko pinag-ipon na para sa kuya ko? Talaga mo ba itong kapatid eh? No? <laughs> hindi, joke lang, joke lang. Well, with all, in all seriousness, uh, the link for the fans are also down below. Ito yung isang cute picture ng fan. Uh, it's RGB! Para sa mga RGB fanatic dyan. Now, uh, ipawisin ako sandali. So, all in all, ang ginastos ng ating build... Uh, ah, I forgot to add. Umabot yung fans na I actually added at least 3 fans para sa build na yan. Since, if you're going to get the Rock Siri, may kasama ng fan na yun. Uh, extra fan, I mean. Link down below. And here's also a picture for it if you want. Now, para naman sa fans, what's the name of it? So, all in all, the cost of the build is around 30,450. How much? Uh, 13,340. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Now, this is taking note na may budget ka pa para sa case mo. Na well around 1,000 up. And you can actually increase it pa kung gusto nyo. Pero, for the case talaga, I wanted na kayo na bahala pumili para doon since it will be your PC build. Now, Michi. O oh, sige, akyat. Akyat, sige, akyat. Kapakahirap ka dyan. So. <laughs> Sorry ah. Kailangan ko lang ilabas yung hamster ko every night. Yeah. Okay. So, that's all para sa first 15k build na pwede nyong gawin. <laughs> so, that's it for this video. Hopefully, nagkaroon kayo ng idea if how or when or maybe what parts or if you want to use the build guide here na ginawa ko para sa inyo for your 15k build. Now, keep in mind... Now, keep in mind na... This is a starting PC build, starting game PC build. Remember, para sa mga benchmark test, you can actually, I'll actually put a link down below para mapanood nyo kung ano yung naging performance ng 2200G. I'll also plug in a video link down below para makita nyo yung naging benchmark difference ng 3200G sa 2200G. Para makita nyo na hindi naman ganun talaga kalangin yung naging performance boost unless na lang kung yung may consider nyo is yung workload or example, if you go across kayo, doing school works or doing just a little bit of editing. Now, thank you for watching. Kalimutan ko i-add. Ah, uh, ano ba? Ayan, so ito. I finally got a uh, first step para sa mga sa gagawin kong video which is the PHPC Build Showcase. Now, this video, the purpose of this video is para mapakita sa inyo yung iba't ibang kaya ng mga Pinoy pag gumagawa ng PC build. Di ba? Hindi pa patalo. Now, I'll actually be plugging the persons na gumawa ng PC builds na to. So, if you want to contact them, ask their opinion as well, or get ideas from them kung paano nila ginawa yung PC build nila, PC build nila, you can actually ask them. Okay? So, See you next time, Patch and Michi out.